no, me and me and Constant, we we, uh, we play around the hotel a lot, and I just try to uh, get them ready and tell them to stay in there and be ready to play with the jersey. Uh, you know, that's a, a good friend of mine, and he do a lot of help motivating, and just keeping me in there, and keeping me positive, and we talk all night in the hotel all day, and just you know, just try to keep each other going. But he said he could sense something a little different with you last night. Uh, I just told him. Uh, I couldn't go to sleep. I just, he asked, like, Nick, why are you up so late? And I was just like, man, I'm just ready. And he's like, ready for the game already? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, he's like, all right, uh, I think you should get some sleep. I'm like, all right. Then I ended up dozing off, and I woke up this morning and opened the blinds. And he was just like, come on, man, close the blinds. I'm like, no, man, get up, Stella. So, uh, we got a game in a couple hours. Like, You're right. And he got up, and we started playing around. And you know, we just you know, got into our minutes, game mode and two. got ready for the game. So how much sleep was it total, though? I got about seven and a half hours of sleep. There was a moment in the first half when you slammed your hand on the scores table after the slow start. What did you talk about with his early? What was going through your head at that moment? Oh, I just messed up a couple of defensive plays. And I get frustrated with that because I normally don't do that. So when I do do it, it's a lack of focus. And I just had to you know, refocus and tell myself that I know what to so I just got to stop loafing. Was there more drive from there to really push it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I don't like making mistakes. But in basketball, you're going to make mistakes. But I just try to you know, bounce back as quick as possible. You feeding off this home crowd today? and this, 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 Oh, definitely. This is a uh, great environment. We had a lot of fans come out. And, uh, it was exciting. Uh, you know, we're a pretty blessed team to be able to play in our home state in the first round. Uh, so we just try to use that momentum and carry over. How much were you feeling out there? Oh, uh, my mom was there. Uh, you know, that's my that's my world. Whenever I see her in the crowd, it just makes me turn up a little bit more. Garrett, as much as, as, much as you can double team and everything, how gratifying it is to be able to put up points in the rebounds that you got today as much as you get beat up. Uh, I can't take that credit. Uh, I give that credit to you know, the Gears and the Trices of the world because you know, they're pretty good shooters and they always ready to shoot, so you can't keep doubling. And, you know, we hitting three, so it, it, it makes it a little bit more open. Yeah. Last question. Did you think as much as they were trying, you, know, you knew they were going to trap you in this game, that you'd have a chance to get this many shots up in this game? Oh, no. Normally when they double team, I only think I'm scoring eight points, but I did a good job of rebounding and get some, you know, offensive rebounds and you know, got a couple of ones, so I just try to keep being active on the glass. How many people did you have here? Uh, I had my mom, my aunt, and uh, my friend, and another one of my friends. So far. Were they doubling you when you on the repost or not as much? Uh, they just doubled on the initial pass, the first pass. And we got it out, swung it, got it back in, and I just tried to make plays. Yeah.